we're back out on the boat. We just got the gear down. We've got our friend Jay with us. Say hi, Jay. Hey. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Again, we're going for some Chinooks. This is Fishing with Tim. So Jay got into a fish, just uh, we've been standing here for like a fucking couple hours and almost nothing going on. We've seen a bunch of shit on the sounder but no fish and uh, Jay just hooked up, he's got it on the surface so I'll show you what that's all about. Well, we'll net him in here anyway. Well, a little small, I'll gap release it. To start though, a little gap release here. So we don't have to take them out of the water or nothing. Boom, just like that. Well, not totally skunked. That means there's one to the boat, but it's windy as fuck here and it's gonna be getting more windy soon. So we'll see if we can get into a couple more before it gets real uncomfortable and get Jay his fish because he's put in the time and the work to get out here. So we'll let you know if that happens. Well, we hooked into another one. So we're, we're really trying hard to get uh, Jay into a fish out here and he is into one, but it's not a salmon. It looks like a, a, piece a of cod. Shit. A piece of shit, as Tim says. So, All right, I'll Jay. show you what these ugly fuckers look like. Oh, there it goes. That's my <laughs> fish. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it released itself. No such luck on that. But anyway, it's something. So about fucking two minutes went by. Tim put us back down, and there was another Holy fish God. on. Surfaced. Cod. Another cod. Yep. All right, now just back up and all. Oh, that's a fucking. Uh... Pacific fucking cod. Can you keep those? Fuck, I never would. The guys in the fucking UK will. Well, been some fucking sloppy conditions out here. Lots and lots of seaweed. Tim's been getting frustrated because the captain of the boat's got to fuck around quite a bit. So uh, we have caught a couple little cod. Apparently not best for eating, so we let them go. But no salmon other than that one tiny little Chinook that we got earlier. So now we're gonna fuck off to a couple islands and go jigging. We're just off Neck Point right now, which is uh, kind of a, well, you've seen it in our videos before, but but just kind of behind me here is Shack Island that you can probably not make out the shacks on the island. But anyway, we're gonna go try our luck at jigging for a little bit until the wind picks up enough that we don't want to be out here anymore. Um, and if we don't get anything, then better luck tomorrow. So we made our way over to Gabriola Island which is a, I don't want to say a small island, it's a reasonable sized island with a bunch of people. There's about 4,000 people live off Gabriola. Um, if you watch one of our previous videos on the channel, Jen and I stayed here so we can give you like a bit of a tour on that video of our bed and breakfast and a bunch of stuff. But anyway, behind me is a bunch of the houses that are around here. Kind of a nice little spot. And we've been marking a bunch of fish on the sounder. Fish, this is a big bait ball, bunch of bait. So we're gonna try our hand at jigging over here and see if anything pops up. And uh, the cool thing about jigging is you can feel the fish when it takes it. So if we get anything, you'll know right away. Anyway, see you in a bit. See the jig, Jay. There's fish coming up to your jig right now, Jay. And they're in your jig, show them that. See all those? Those are fish. And here's the jig with a bunch of fish fucking around in there. 
We might get lucky. Jay's put in the work today. He deserves a big fish to feed his family with. So uh, hopefully we land something, but check this out. Big school of fish hanging out in there. Like a whole bunch. This is all fish. The zigzaggy mountain lines there, that's Jay's jig and Tim's jigs. But it's not unlikely that we'll hook into something, so that'd be kind of cool. That's green ling. Did you see the green in its mouth there? Little baby ling cod. Cool. Do him a favor, let him go. <laughs> Dave's just got into a fish here. Yeah, that's... that's a reasonable size one, it looks like. That's small Chinook there. And it's a cod, as I just said that like, you know, it's yeah, going to be a salmon. salmon. This is a kelp greenling. Dude, it got it through the bottom jaw too. Later, another small ling. Yeah, look at these guys, these lingers. Linger dinger. Look at them teeth. Look at those teeth. These things actually get pretty big, like scary big. This gives us something that's like edible. This is a, uh, a quill bath rock fish. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't want to get stabbed by that one. They sting, right? Fucking right, they do. They got a really nice uh, venom that's in those in their spines. I've had them stab into me several times in life. And yeah, it's good. It gives you real good a sting. And then it like it's like a fucking crab and a throb for like days. So it might not be our day fishing today. We got lots of fish, but nothing worth keeping. But it's windy as fuck out here. I don't know if you guys can like pick this up. Look at all the waves. And the sailboats are hanging out out here sailing away. It's perfect conditions for those idiots. Not even catching any fish. A bunch of losers. Neither are we though. Well, holy fuck Tim, was that ever a fuck around, eh? The Nanaimo boat la launch is like always a shit show. It's everybody's first launch every fucking time that we come. Brutal. You know, we get through it every time. We don't usually end up hammering anybody out, so. <laughs> usually, we are officially on the water. We got a full boat today, so we've got my wifey, Jen, We've got Jay back on the boat, and we've got Ariana on the boat. So, and we also have some crab traps. So we're gonna show you what uh, what dropping that is all about when we get out onto the water. We've calmed down a little bit because that was we waited probably 25 minutes just to get into the water today because everybody was stupid. So anyhow, uh, once we go to drop the crab traps, I'll show you what that's all about, and then we'll be off to fishing with Tim. So we'll see you in a bit. So we've made it to where we put in the crab traps. So essentially what you do, you load them up with, some people use chicken, we're using old salmon, and uh, you drop them in, and then you wait. You go fishing for a few hours, you come back, pick them up, and you sort through the crabs to see if you get anything. All right, so we've made it to the spot that we're gonna set down. If you fish off in Nanaimo, you're probably familiar with this spot. It's called the Fingers. Lots of good salmon fishing here. A few boats out today. We got good weather, it's good shit, so we're just gonna put the gear down and get started. We're enjoying a couple nudes out on the boat while we wait for the finches to bite. It's been pretty slow so far, and we haven't seen anybody really be super fishy. There was one guy started bringing one up but lost it, so he was full of shit. 
as Jay says for sure. Probably a fucking cod. We're gonna sit here for a couple more minutes and if nothing bites we're gonna move to another spot because we haven't seen anybody else bring up any fish either. We'll and there's lots happens. of shit in the fucking water here. Maybe it's cleaner up there. We're having to constantly get weeds off of all our gear and that doesn't really help with things. So anyway we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get into some fish today and uh, you know you're watching our channel. Thank you for doing so. You know what it's like being a fisherman. A lot of the time you don't catch anything and that's just how it is sometimes so we'll see you in a bit that is not a chinook that's a little coho oh, fuck yeah i was pissing <laughs> my piss turned up the water and the fish came <laughs> <laughs> yeah the boys are into two big fish we got a double header while i was having a leak off the back Golden. the switch things just got exciting Into the boat. Yeah, this is a nice fish. It's a keeper. So Ariana just hooked into what looks like a cod, so we're just bringing it up to the boat and we'll show you what that's all about. Oh, it's a dogfish. Look at Lala T, you caught a shark. And look, I'm not bringing it in the boat because it's got spines and teeth. I actually watched a video of a guy get his finger taken off by one of these things. Hey? So we're just picking up the crab traps now and we'll show you what that's all about. There's a few keepers in there it looks like. Look at all those crabs! Oh. This is a male crab as well. That's the lighthouse. So this is what they do to your hands when you're trying to, to grab them. It's pretty fun. Dungeon S crabs. They're legal size at six and a half inches from point to point. Go into the drink. Bye-bye, crabby. It has been a very fun day. Not very fishing, but fun nonetheless. 